Hello everyone. This is Smiley Nine. Thank you guys for checking out this Let's Play. Today we are going to be playing Dynasty Warriors 4 Hyper on the PC. I have yet to do a Let's Play with this game, but it is top tier for me. In terms of Dynasty Warriors games, I am a pretty big Dynasty Warriors fan. You guys should check out my channel if you haven't already. Got quite a bit of content ranging from the early games to the new games. I also play some of the spinoffs quite a bit. Um, definitely looking to get into the spinoffs more so. Uh, the most recent purchase I acquired through Koei Tecmo was uh, Wild Hearts. It's been going pretty well. I haven't got a chance to try out the Will Long demo, um, but uh, I do have it downloaded, so I think I have the rest of this month to maybe play it a little bit, but today, that's not the focus. Today, we are going back in time. Um, in about two weeks, March 30, or excuse me, March 25th, I believe, is the 20th, 20 year anniversary for Dynasty Warriors 4. Now, Hyper obviously probably came out a little bit after that, but nonetheless, we are going to run through the story mode of Liu Li. Now, Liu Li is an edited character that I created um, based on the history of the three kingdoms Liu Li was actually one of the sons of Liu Bei but you know we like to flip the script and it is uh, National Women's Month so let's go ahead and celebrate with a little bit of some Liu Li gameplay gameplay excuse me and in an iconic battle we're just gonna see how it goes with the help of Shu. In the Wu mission. Shokatsuyo ga kaze wo okosu! Sore made taeyo! Kaze wa... So far I'm about five or six stages in. Um, so finally kind of getting the understanding of um, the rapier, which is new Waz weapon, technically. I can't even remember if she's in this game. If so, it's kind of crazy that not a single force has this character's moveset. But it's in the game. I guess I just wanted to save it maybe f for something that adds uniqueness to an edited officer, possibly. Definitely probably going to be working in Dynasty Warriors for Hybrid into future live streams. It's uh it's a heavy classic. Came out after Dynasty Warriors 3, obviously, but you know, a lot of fans that I come across that are particular to the older versions or older releases of Dynasty Warriors really really say this one and four hit home and then of course five is also definitely an argument. So, yes, I would never play another game if they just remastered these three. On current gen consoles, you would never hear another peep from me in regards to any criticism. For Koei, if they pulled off the improbable. Which would be pretty cool if they did that. I don't know how they would make that work. It makes me wonder if they haven't already, just because they maybe no longer have the code or ports to it for some reason. I don't know if they've heard those after a while or if those are hard to keep. It would kind of make sense to keep them around since you never know what the future holds, but what do I know? I'm just a gamer. Oh yeah. It's probably dual time, people. You know we always accept these. One of the two few characters that can fight each other with shields. It's kind of cool. Gotta dodge the grab. Keep me alive. Ooh. 
Yikes. Got him. I probably should go protect the altar. Forgot about that. Knock out the middle. Let's get out of here. Daiquiris. And I stay on the horse? Uh oh. Hungry, hungry hippo. Back to back duels? No. Knock him out real quick. I think Zugay can hold his own. Yikes. You know what we do. Let's go, Luli. Make it happen. <laughs> that was too filthy. She's almost OP. How convenient. Ah, oh, how convenient. There's no way. That is too cold. I love it. Easy. Well, too easy. Kind of felt that way with Han Ho as well, but then again, if you haven't seen it, I used uh, Zhang Liao's moveset for that character, which is a little slower, in my opinion. Maybe that has a lot to do with it. But, I mean, she's flawless. Now, I never said I was a historian, alright? I understand that Liu Li is technically the son of Liu Bei, but hey. As far as accuracy with characters go, Koei's not the one, so neither am I. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sure, sure. And I gotta say, the, uh... The graphics in this are spectacular. It just that's that's what gets me so fired up about a potential remake of Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5. Is the fact that they can really upgrade those graphics to I mean even 30 or yeah 1080p. I mean shoot, I think I'd even take 720 at this point. But. I also was able to enact Dynamic Shadows with this, which kind of puts it on par with Dynasty Warriors 5 just in general. Looks like, you know, graphics wise, it's a very good looking game, especially on the 360 port. Absolutely. Dynasty Warriors 5 special videos as well, which kind of hard to come by, considering I'm a lot of the, all of that gameplay was recorded on the Japanese Xbox 360. Yeah. I know, lunatic, but they say never let the kid in you die. And that was a game that definitely strikes my childhood, so all aspects of it, you know, language usually isn't a barrier for me, not that I know Japanese, but I think you can kind of work your way around that or just learn the language, which I'd like to do. Trying to put a plan in place to do that. I know there's a lot of different avenues. Body Gorbin. Clutch? I like it. Santa's reindeer in the cut. It's crazy how small Shu's influence is on this particular stage. Granted, it's hard to say that Liu Bei truly even had an army at this point. But he had Zhao Yun, Zhuge Liang. Seems like he was still kind of gathering the faction of Shu, even once he did get the Sleeping Dragon.
Ooh. Okay, you got me. I hate this. This one you get in this debacle with basic troops. But they refuse to let you get back on the horse to make a run for it. Gotta get out. So we're going to try and work our way up through the right, take out all these officers. Skip Cow Cow. He's not ready. He might even retreat. One thing that's cool in Dynasty Warriors 4, that's kind of not the case in Dynasty, in Dynasty Warriors 4 on the PS2, Hyper that is, is how far away you can see enemy officers, even just in the field of play, not necessarily the map. Although the map has significantly improved, see where officers are at. That way you don't have to pause and look at the menu map. But I still do it, time and time again. No duel! Tell me about it. Your husband's next. Your man will get slayed. Oops. Sealed it. Hasta la vista. Yeah, I never actually really created a female officer in edit mode playing these games. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can get the rapier. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken on that. Maybe you can still get it even as a male character. I'm pretty sure you can actually, but or maybe that's Dynasty Warriors Five. One of the two. Those edit modes allows you to do it. Seems like every playthrough I fight Kyle Hong. Of course, it's incredible. He's not even a true character yet. He has to be, right? The next game is for sure. Hopefully, Dynasty Warriors 10. Juge Leon. Kido nado de arimasen. Kyo kono hi. Tonan no kaze wa fukuno des. Shosho. Well done. Battles are almost won. Isre. Goni gai o nasu ya mushiren. I will admit, they did a better job with Joe Yu in this game. Who in the world? I remember Wayside on this with Han Ho. I had to uh, spawn on this side of the map, which is kind of inconvenient when you're trying to keep Juge Leon alive. Since he's uh, obviously in and out. That just kind of triggered my mind to think that you have to just ride all the way down here to fight you, Jin. But yeah, the strategy in this for me, obviously, shoot or Wu side. You're going to, um. Kind of be in an advantage. Just because of the fire attack. And when I meant. Uh, Hanho, it was whenever I had to cross the battle to defeat Juge Leon. Because he's ultimately the predicator of how this battle goes. So with Wei, obviously you don't want the fire attack, so crossing over there was kind of brutal. Actually, it took me a couple playthroughs. You see Gan Ning on the way over there, and then I think you see either... Um, Huang Gai, yeah. Obviously you see Huang Gai. Didn't see Shun Yu, maybe I can save it. Got him. Hopefully that's the next weapon. So it is kind of nice. Uh, this is my first playthrough through Shu actually, unlocking characters as we go. It's kind of definitely the goal. But 
Yeah, I'm just kind of curious to see all these characters. Of course, through my first playthroughs of these, I use the edit mode um, just to kind of refresh up, uh, refresh, I guess you should, you should say, in the gameplay. Just because playing with the basic same characters from Dynasty Warriors 4 gets a little old sometimes, but especially till you unlock everybody. So the edit mode's definitely nice. Something that they obviously have carried on through most of the Dynasty Warriors games. But, yeah, I've been hearing, um, you know, things and videos that on YouTube that people have been recommending for Dynasty Warriors 10. And, um, man, I think there's a lot of different ways it can go. I think from, like I said, most of my things I say, I would say, are probably speculation just because I haven't actually seen any hardcore evidence as to think otherwise. But from what I understand, there should be no open world, um in the next release of Dynasty Warriors, which it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it's probably a better route. You might as well stick to what got you to this point, especially for the 10th entry. Um, so hopefully that works out to where that's not something that's a problem. Um, it's kind of cool that Xiao Mao or Kai Mao is uh, in purple gear. I don't remember how he joins Wei, but I know he was originally part of Leo Bao's Leo Bao's force, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. And I think that's because I used Leo Bao in uh, Dinosaur Wars 9 Empires. Which, you know, like I said, I I think Dinosaur Wars Empires is pretty cool. He also has the classic bodyguard move set. What's all that about? These guys are really still trying to do this fire attack. It's all good, bro. I got Cow Cow on his heels. I was hoping this would be Jung now. This thing is so ill. Love that moveset. But yeah, what I would probably do if I had the opportunity to have input on Dynasty Warriors 10, I would definitely try to incorporate some of the fighting mechanics that you see in Wo Long and Wild Hearts. That just kind of... You can still have a hack and slash game, in my opinion, with different types of maneuvers, dodges, and parries. But also be able to focus on the scale of being surrounded and having that kind of one verse thousand mentality but even in the older games like these i mean your ko's didn't need to be as high but you're also fighting a little bit more of aggressive ai and so if you're going to keep an ai system that is going to allow you to progress your character it would be nice to be able to have troops maybe either provide certain items or certain different types of experience that you um you know that kind of rewards ko's but at the same time just makes it a little bit more challenging um, I think the weapon and weapon moves can just slightly be enhanced. I don't think you have to change everyone's moveset completely like you did for Dynasty War or Samurai Warriors 5. But definitely add a little bit more elements to the movesets. I wouldn't say they're you know, all the way out of date. You can even mix in a little bit of what Dynasty Warriors 9 was um, moveset wise. Even though that would probably be a smoother transition to more of a Wo Long Wild Heart style of game as far as fighting mechanics go. So, anyway. Um, also bring back dual mode, for sure. Just like he did in this. Dynasty Wars 4 dual mode, undefeated. Um, music from all the games, obviously. Costumes. It's the 10th game entry. You have to have every single costume that got you here. In my humble opinion, that's not going to be a lot. Even if the characters have a slightly redesigned, it, it should not be that difficult, in my opinion. But then again, you could also switch it up a little bit. Maybe have a DLC for even all Dynasty Warriors 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Or obviously not 10, but and then same for the 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 as far as DLC for costumes. That way you don't have to give them all at once. We know Koei loves DLC, and they never want to try and put it up for discount, so... <laughs> Why not money longer? 
Make a profit. So funny that um, Wild Hearts was 69. 69.99. World Long's 59.99. Both from the same company, technically. So that just leads me to believe. Yeah, of course I couldn't let Kalko get away without the fire attack. Even though everyone's already gone, though. On the shoulders of Jugaleon. Yeah, I don't know. And, and if you want to, it's like, are they? Another thing to keep in mind is like, I think Dynasty Warriors 10 is a big, big predic uh, predicator um, on like the success of keeping that particular entry, especially with the success of Wo Long and Wild Hearts. It can be kind of a you know, you would think that like maybe we should put our focus more towards those types of entries and those types of games because it draws in a larger crowd. So I just hope that Dynasty Warriors is to stay. I hope that Dynasty Warriors 10 is just well thought out. I just hope it has the development and time it needs because it's going to need a lot. But it can definitely do it in a lot of different ways. Whatever, cow, cow, sasa. That was kind of cool. Just got murked at the same time. Bagging on this new weapon. But anyway, yeah, that's just an idea. Um, I could probably go into a whole discussion video on it, but. Let me know what you guys would like to see in future Dynasty Warriors games, and also what you thought of Dynasty Warriors 4. Hyper, a little bit of a throwback. I know I have quite a bit of um, videos on the channel with this, so you should definitely check those out. Um, but I'm glad we got a chance to kind of go through a Let's Play with Dynasty Warriors 4 Hyper. I'd also like to do this with the base Dynasty Warriors 4 on Xbox original via Xbox 360. Probably use a capture card for that, but um, definitely try and have more Let's Plays on different types of games that way. Um, trigger a little bit more discussion or just questions in general when it comes to these types of games because I obviously play them so much but not a it's all good got the Krima got them coming up four bodyguards moving on up the flight of Lube the literal flight the three kingdoms all right. Thanks again, people, for checking out this Let's Play. I will definitely um, see you guys in the comments and see you in the next video. Thank you.